Welcome to Martial Fusion Senbu Dojo. These are the five wrist conditioning exercises for Aikido practice. So we're going to bring our elbows down and relax and we're going to take one of the hands on the top of the wrist by the knuckles and we want to start putting pressure down at the same time that we squeeze the elbows in and relax the shoulders so the exercise happens by releasing everything down and as it comes up you're going to squeeze and breathe out so it's going to be itch ni sang shi go rook sich hatch ku Ju. Same on the other side, so you just relax the hand, make sure that you're putting the pressure evenly from the top of the knuckles and bring, by bringing the elbow in at the same time that you keep your shoulders down. So you relax the hands all the way and then on the way to the top you squeeze and press. Itch, ni, sang, shi, go, rok, sich, hach, ku, you. Right. The next one is going to be the Kote Gaeshi. So we do it by putting the palm facing in and then the other hand is going to wrap around and the thumb is going to control the base of the small finger. And these three fingers are going to wrap around on the inside of the wrist so you can get a full grip, nice and tight. And then from here you can press that thumb all the way in as you twist the wrist all the way in and then you bring it down at the same time that you squeeze everything into your center right so then you come up and then you release on the way down you squeeze and you exhale itch ni sang shi go rok sich hach ku ju right then kote gaeshi on the other side palm facing in Control the base of the small fingers, wrap around, get a good grip. Then right from here, you can turn it all the way in and bring it all the way down as you squeeze. And itch, ni, sang, shi, go, rok, sich, hach, ku, yu. Right. Then the next one is gonna be nikyo. So we're gonna take one hand with the thumb facing down then the controlling hand is going to be right next to it with the thumb facing up. Then from here, what we want is we want to create a control of the inner edge of the hand by bringing the thumb towards the forehead at the same time that the wrist and elbow become to bend, kind of creating a zigzag sort of shape that we are going to be now turning in by bringing the blade of the hand towards the forehead as we go up and down and squeeze and this is where the pressure happens so it comes down and releases it's a big circle the itch ni sang shi go rok sich hach ku you then you release so the same on the other side thumb down thumb up so you already got that blade of the hand that is kind of pointing in towards your forehead so you gotta relax the elbow bend the wrist gain control full control of the hand and then you're gonna bring it up and then roll it in as everything starts coming down into that circle then you can release it again forward and itch ni sang Shi, go, rok, sich, hach, ku, yu. Hi. Then the next one. Thumb is gonna be pointing towards the stomach. So I got the edge of the hand facing out. Then my other hand is gonna use mainly these two fingers to go over and basically cut wrap around the thumb as, as the other thumb wraps around on the top. So you got that kind of like a reverse handshake, reverse handshake. From there, then you can start bringing the edge of the hand up and in, and then you, you wanna bring that edge all the way over the shoulder backwards. And then from there, releases to the center, and then you stretch it backwards, itch. 
Mi Son Si Go Rook Sitch Hatch Ku Yu Hey Then same on the other side So thumb Towards the stomach These two fingers Go over Under With the thumb Grabbing into a reverse handshake. Then from my center, I'm gonna turn that in into the shoulder all the way up and back. So you also stretch in the shoulder in there. Then you release and you bring it back to the middle. Then you exhale on the way out. Each knee, sun, shi, go, rock, sit. Hatch, ku, ju. Hey, then we release. And then number five, last one. It's going to be just doing a reverse motion for the wrist. This, we call it jaku waza. So it's basically taking a full stretch and opening the wrist and the elbow, the forearm, by going into a opposite reverse form for the arm. So each. Ni, sang, shi, ku, ruk, sitch, hatch, ku, yu. Right, same on the other side, jaku waza. So holding the fingers, tip all the way forward and down, and stretching the reverse of it, and then releasing that again. And itch, ni, sang, shi, Go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, yu. Okay, and interlace and down and stretch. Okay, and then right from there we can just do a quick review. So we got five different stretches on each hand. So the first one, it's gonna be this one. Second one, kote gaeshi. Third one, nikyo. Fourth one, sankyo. And the fifth, Jaku Waza. So same on the other side. So the top stretch, then Kote Gaeshi, and Nikyo, and Sankyo, and Jaku Waza. Right?